we are going to begin I'm using a size 20 a 2499 hook I've got a glass killer glass bead the midge is the smallest style there is I'm going to put a white thread base down for my gills the uh, glass bead acts as a bubble Larry Wegman has been working on these midges for a, quite some time now and he's noticed with the midges that he's raising in his house that the gills come out of the side so we're going to put some gills on I'm using Madeira thread and putting it on like a wing style figure eight don't have to be too fussy because I'm going to put a black bead and it's going to push everything out to the front let me do a whip finish so I can cut this thread now I'm going to show you a little trick I've learned to pull it on the side to separate these threads I make one side a little bit shorter than the other. So I know that one's on the right and one's on the left. Now I will remove the hook and I'm going to put a, uh, a black bead on 120 1.5 millimeter. I'm putting the large end on first which is a little bit different. Everybody usually puts the small end on first. I'm putting the large end on first. You'll notice that the large end will push over the Madeira, pushing those gills forward. And I'm going to put a little dam behind that bead to keep it from coming up. Again, I'm going to take this hook out of the vise. I'm going to put a put finish on here. And I'm going to use some stretch tubing, size medium. Uh, and this is uh, chartreuse to give it the green body. Sometimes it's a little hard to get that tubing over the hook, but it really makes a defined segment when you are tying this off. Now I'm going to tie down the back end of the tubing. Careful not to get my Madeira caught. I'm going to cut off the tag end. Now I'm going to spin my thread clockwise. That'll tighten everything up. I'm using the thread for ribbing. And bring it around. It'll squash the tubing down and will give a, a nice segment look. Whip finish. Now remember before I made one longer and one shorter. I'm going to pull these to the side and I'm going to trim them. They don't they need, need not be long. size of the thorax, maybe a little bit less than the thorax. And there you have it. A 
green gilded midge. Thanks for watching.